Hey everybody, Felix here. Welcome back to InventBox, where the solution is right around the corner. In this tutorial, we're going to take a closer look at variables and this LED built-in that we used in the last video. Variables are basically names that we use to reference a piece of information. It's the same concept as a variable in algebra. I can make a variable called x and give it a value of 3. And then later I can reference x and it will give me back 3. In Arduino C we define variables by specifying what is called the data type. And that's something that helps the compiler know how to orient the ones and zeros inside the chip we can go to the Arduino website to see a list of all of the data types that you can use for variables. So there are things like integers and floats, doubles, longs. These are all different types of numbers. There's a lot of different ways we can store numbers depending on our needs. And there's things like strings, which are for storing text, among other things. So what we can do is create a variable up here before everything. We can create a variable. It'll be an integer, and we can call it LED pin, and we can assign pin 13. Or we could do something like this, string animal equals squid. This needs to be capitalized. Okay, both of these are examples of variables. Now wait, we already have a variable that corresponds to pin 13 for the LED. So why would we declare this up here? Well, this LED built-in is not actually a variable it's called a macro. A macro works by basically substituting its value directly into the code anytime the macro shows up. It substitutes it in before the code even compiles by something called a preprocessor. It's the equivalent of doing a find and replace in your file. A macro like this does not take up any SRAM because it doesn't technically even exist at compile time. We can do a little better than LED built-in, though. The problem with using macros like this is that they don't have a data type, which makes it harder for the compiler to catch your mistakes. To improve this, since the LED pin will never change, it will always be pin 13, we can declare const int LED pin that lets the compiler know that it doesn't have to worry about this variable ever changing which in turn lets it optimize to save memory when you define a variable as const it doesn't get put into SRAM instead it gets saved straight into flash so to save memory use const whenever you can one more thing to note about variables is that Depending on where you put them, that affects where you can use them. If I were to define and initialize this variable inside the setup function, then only things inside the setup function know what LED pin is. Loop would have no clue. So, if I put it outside of the setup and loop functions, now both of them will be able to know what LED pin is. And now we can change these to LED pin. And use that variable instead of the macro. Now let's save this as LED 
blink and we'll go ahead and compile and upload and sure enough that LED is blinking every half second. So what have we learned here? Well in terms of the compiler it doesn't really care if this 13 comes from a variable or a macro but we know that if we use the macro which could be defined like this if we define the macro like this it has no data type which makes the rest of the program more prone to errors but if we make it a variable and declare it specifically as a constant then it still doesn't use up SRAM but we get a little bit more safety with the error catching either way the code works